Wala ka tayo. <laughs> Wala. Walang budget yung production. <laughs> Blocking the dresses and we 
usually the darker ones are on the side. And yeah. usually it really slips down and creates the illusion for you. Correct. It creates in an elongated. So it's not just one color. What are the trickier outfits, like colors and styles, that can make people look bigger than they are? Horizontal. And when you're busy, you're pretty good. It's like, yeah. like rounded or, print. Or, or you use a loose layer and you pull up. But me personally, I don't wear a loose. Yeah. But it's not for everyone. Do you think nude colors also tend to make you look more like what you wear? No, no, man. Um, it depends on the cut. So if you wear nudes and the cut is sharp and tailored and pencil cut, then it's a big Any fashion tips for plus size men? So my tip, not just for plus size men, you have to get your real size. Do not lie to yourself. I see a lot of men wearing a size bigger because I feel they want you're more comfortable. Oh. Or but it's not tight, it's, it's called perfect fit. And if it's a size bigger, then it's a mouse. And you don't want to look mouse. And you actually look bigger. Yeah. Okay, so my girlfriends are wise and all. Okay, I'm gonna encourage. Because normally guys, they really don't know. They just want comfort. Correct. That is so true. If you guys watch Queer Eye for the Street Guy, you know that Tan always, always tells the guys. Always. Bigger guys always tend to go for bigger clothes because they, they feel, feel like they don't want to show like their stomach like and they they feel like, and maybe they feel like mas mayat sila mas malulong yung mas oh yeah. oh totoo no it's actually yeah you're right yeah. sometimes it's psychological mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that part perfect size that will make you look sharp super yeah. how would you elevate your look wearing leggings that will depend on your generation <laughs> oh my god <laughs> let's say for Gen Z they'll wear leggings with combat boots. Okay, this is my mom. 
body and I'm not gonna be hating on it. I'm okay. gonna love it and I'm gonna wear the clothes. So it's like a two-step thing. It's not just looking for the clothes that would fit you well or the body for you. It's also very psychological. It's very mental. Like for example, for me, I have no boots. <laughs> Flat. <laughs> Also, 
nice to add more colors. Para for me, it's called color lock. So it means that you combine two or more colors in that same color family. So yeah. like there's green, there's orange, and a little bit of yellow. So the yeah. yellow can be like a bell. And you can add another one, white. So white inner, green blazer, orange trousers, and yellow belt. Yes. Ah, it's a visual. Oh okay, my god. <laughs> Neutrals are so easy to insert in your color combos. And then, if, for example, you want to include, let's say, I want a neutral, so you want to have to this. My green, my orange, and my yellow, right? Notice that yellow actually is very similar to orange, and it's also what we used to come up with green, right? Yellow plus blue equals green. Yeah, so it's for women, right? Oh. Fashion rule for flat chested women. If you want to just like add a little bit, there's like kuchinta, and then you buy. You know what I mean? Ayun! I mean, it's a classic. Hindi siya yung trendy na. 
this season lang. Third, blazer. Ako rin. Blazer. Blazer talaga. Kasi pati pang airport look, pwede yan. Oo. Oh, oh, Kapag tamad ka, it's a she. Number four, yeah. a classic pair of pumps. Kasi it goes forever. Last one, a good underwear. Totoo, no? Parang they disregard. Parang for them, it's not so important. But it is. It makes a lot of difference. Sa suot mong white shirt. Sa confidence mo. Oo. Oh, tsaka sa fit. You know, sometimes you feel like may bilbil ka. But honestly, it's just your underwear. Oo. Oh, kasi big... nagkakaroon ka ng yeah. muffin. Again, perfect fit, guys. So true. Nakonscious to lay up sa underwear. <laughs> What's your general rule of thumb when it comes to layering? For cold winter, personally, I always go with structured boots. Because it makes you look more put together, more together, polished the right away. Also, if you're so scared of looking bulky, then investing in the right thermals will help. Okay, the next one is a bit. Oh, it's not going to be a bit. It's not going to be So, yun din, for me, thermals. Because I'm so lamigan, but I still want to look. Ano ako, uh, three, four layers. Na thermal, na thermals. Kasi for me, super nipis. It keeps you warm. You can even reuse your button downs. Just anything with details. And then in pants, and then have a coat over, and you just look different. You're not like a basic. Not a basic bitch. That's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> People always think that when you're going to a cold weather country, you're only supposed to bring chunky pants. Sometimes it's not only just the chunky knits that you can bring, like what this said. So you can do thermals first, and then you have a turtle knit. Then you have a button down over it. And then you have like a blazer, and then a coat. You know, it's not yeah, always like yeah. chunky stuff. No, because for me, I know it's so comfortable. But because it's chunky, it tends to add more weight. So you tend to the bulky even if you're not. Honestly, it's not bad on the shoulders. Ha? No, it's big. It's big. It's really called smart player. Don't think that because it's winter and you're all covered up, you can't look cute. You can. Because you can add accessory under it. You can cinch your waist. So kind na sikip sikip na ng loob mo because you're wearing so much layers underneath. If you cinch your waist, then you still look fabulous. Also, mga tights. People always wonder like, paano ka na kasuot ng sheer na tights? And it's like negative something degrees. I have this like super nude, like very skin tone color na thermals yes, inside. Yeah. And then I wear like my glossy over it. And people don't know that it's not actually my skin that's keeping yeah. you, it's my thermals. Yeah. So far it's it's a daya. Also, I suggest you can wear let's say Narek Kusmila, not super layered. So you can wear the leather. Ma init ng leather. Ma init na siya. You're secure na. So again, when you buy your coats when you're going to cold weather countries, I cannot stress this enough. There's a reason why a certain coat is worth 2,000 pesos and a certain coat is worth like 10,000 pesos. You know, it's the material. So if you're just buying, let's say, acrylic, polyester, those type of coats, then it's not gonna do you any good, even if you layer like 10 pieces of that, as compared to like three pieces of like wool or just one, oh, one layer. Oh, oh, so you have to look at the materials, and that's how you can stay at least not so bulky, because you're not biting on a lot of like. How to find your personal style? First, you have to know your personality. So meaning, am I girly? Am I girly? Am I the sporty type? Actually, even the brands that you love will dictate who you are. Mm -hmm. Kind of your personal style. What is your personal style? I would like to say. <laughs> um, I would like to say that my personal style. I feel like it's being polished. But I always want it to look put together. But I'm a madam touch. Yeah. yeah. Let's say for example, you based on the friendship nila. So Camille would be the polished type. Irene would. The street style, high street. Street. And then hers would be the feminine one. So, yun yung yun, yun, example ko ng personal style. Meaning, they know themselves, alam nila what they want, and so it's easy for them to style themselves. And for me naman, my tip is also don't be afraid to experiment. Yeah, because also my tip. Oh, oh. If you're like that, I feel like kasi if you're unsure, then the only way for you to find out is to try out different yeah. things. Kasi it will never hurt you. So, try. Try ka lang ng try until you I don't know. I don't know the viewers. So stick to what's up on the And so honestly, personal style will always keep evolving. Like I feel like the list 20 Before, years ago yeah. is not the list now. now. Until now, I'm still evolving. Because I feel like it's so fun to play with fashion, you know? It's so fun to play with clothes. And I don't want to be like too serious about it. So if I feel like wearing this today and this see how much I'm tomorrow, then today is a new day. Okay. Let's move forward. <laughs> How can 
you play with fashion if like marami mga nega talking about honestly don't mind the other people or like what they're saying you should really think about what your fashion or your style makes you feel what suits you what you feel like doing yeah kasi personality mo yan people can dictate what you wear parang for her it's pilit nila ito ito suotin mo eh ayaw mo nga eh sasabihin mo ba ay parang hindi siya ko ito yung black oh oh eh pag sinabi mo yun don't doubt yourself hindi ka yan oh 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 Actually, that reminded me of a time when I used to be designing. Even if I feel like, alam mo sobrang bagay ng dress na to sa yung. But if I could already see that she's the type of person who won't feel comfortable in it, you couldn't feel it. Yeah. And also me as a stylist, when my clients tell me na ito yung gusto nila, para I get to know them first. I can never style someone I do not know. That's why yung style tips ko. It's all gonna be based on who you are. But and that's the best kind of stylist. Yeah, you don't impose your own personal style. I like classic and minimalist styles, but I don't want to look boring. What should I do? They feel in their heads that, but I, if it's minimalist, then I'm I look boring. Oh no 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 no! I beg to disagree. I'm dating minimal looks now. Oh my god, it's so chic. But if it's minimal, na let's say you stick with one color palette, but maganda yung cut ng blazer, my texture, yung inner, my details, the pants, it's gonna look chic. But and there's so many ways to accessorize it. Let's say white and then black blazer, black pants. But then if you put accessories over, let's say sunglasses, earrings, a nice bag with details. But then, ano mo hair and makeup? Sometimes even just the shade of your lipstick. In short, you just have to accessorize. Play around with your accessories. But honestly, even if you don't, it's just so easy to be chic if it's minimal. Yeah. But for example, minimal. I don't know. Oh, one color tone. But it's a very nice one. You know, accessorize lang siya. No mga chunky chunky stuff. Yeah, ayun na, di ba? How should you dress for work fashion be without overdoing it? There are so many things that you can buy that you can wear for work and for play. So you can wear a pleated skirt, just wear like a tank top na white, a blazer. So pagpapasa ka sa work, you can wear pumps. And then you're gonna go out and remove your blazer, wear strappy heels, and use your shoulder bag to a clutch. Statement necklace. Statement necklace. Or the girl in back. I feel like a lot of you guys got to think that to be fashionable or to be stylish, it has to be loud. It doesn't always have to be loud. I mean, you can. <laughs> doesn't always have to be. Yeah. Maybe I think my personality is if I'm in the office, I feel like I'm the type that always has monochrome, like suits, trousers, and then the inner is just the texture. I'm going to do my own workwear, how to style it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. What to do when I'm not in the mood to dress up for work but still need to look presentable? Don't fail me. Why like or by the name like the top, the bottom down? That's super comfy. It even feels like a pajama to me. But you still look great. So you can even wear a pajama dress in the work. And expensive. You look expensive. Yes. What are the things you need to remember as you style yourself? Number one, know your personal style. Number two, find the perfect fit. Number three, strength and weaknesses. Like you have to know your assets, what you want to hide, what you want to want. And the only way to know that is if you try different things. Experiment, look at yourself in the mirror, study. Yeah, I mean, go to the mall, fit the whole day. Yeah, it's free to fit. Yeah, it's free. That's also what I say. Yeah, that's also what I say when some people say, "How can you know if this style would fit you? You'll never know unless you try." But fit ka, okay lang yan. They can't say anything, whether you buy or not. Pero buy na nito. Buy na nito kung ganda. Ten years from now, what style or clothes do you think will still be in your closet? A silk bottom down. Oh my god, I have to practice what I do. <laughs> I mean, like on a silk top, snap. I do a size big. It doesn't feel a real pajama. A silk top should be a little bit loose, on you. but yun lang ang exception nila. An oversized blazer. Even as a lola, let's say lola. Yeah, oh, I was gonna so say, because after ten years, chic pa rin siya if lagay ko ng belt over it. A white shirt will still be there. A good pair of jeans will still be there. My pants will still be there. Alam si Dabo ko. Ano ba? 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 Ano
read from the magazines and mainly experience. So my whole like styling career, Shandra, of course, sometimes I failed. I'm not perfect and sometimes there are instances that you're, you just like, you fall short. Yeah. So you learn from that and through that, you become better and better and better and you become where you are. You like, now I know better and I'm learning from all my mistakes and I am here because I've worked hard for it. So parang my ano is to experience it firsthand because alam mo, kahit anong sabihin ko sa'yo, if hindi ikaw yung mismo gumagawa, you don't know until you're there. Ang hila maging stylist na hindi Kailangan na doon ka, start from the bottom. Start as an intern, show them that you're great because if you are, they're gonna absorb you. But you have to be persistent and consistent and you have to execute, you have to deliver. Kasi with your vision, but you don't execute, then there's nothing. Kailangan merong gawa, hindi pwede. Gusto ko lang, because gusto is lahat ng tao gusto. Also, I think when you're in it, you have to know how to deal with first your boss, your client, and I think in my case, That also, Shepard, we're in the Philippines and important in Manila as well. Sama and me personally, I'm very particular with the tone. Na naman misunderstand and from there, you know, it causes trouble. When you're new, you have to also gauge and respect. So you have to respect also the ones, just generally, like whether they're up there or down here or starting or whatever. I think you just have to treat them all the same because we tend to forget about that part. And then I think. Also, what's really, really important is to know the history of fashion. If you want to get into it, you have to speak the language, you have to have the knowledge. You just go in there and you're not ready for the battle. You have to be ready for the war. It's, it's, uh, fashion is a very cutthroat industry. Yeah. So just be there, be ready. Be ready mo na yung being mo, yung self mo. And it's, it's very challenging. And especially now that there's so, so many stylists. Everything that Liz said, that's correct. But I also want to stress that I feel like people keep forgetting because they think fashion is so glamorous. Oh, you will, yeah, at yeah. one point in your life, have to like get down on your knees, do things that you didn't think a stylist would be doing. Yeah, it's all not glamorous. Like, to be honest, if you see me on socials and you see me on events being dolled up and like having like great makeup. Of course, that's with a great team who helped me out too. But yeah, as, as a stylist, stylist, I go in with my team wearing anything that we're comfortable because at the end of the day we are stylists and you know like we're there for work and not to be like chica or cute. You still have to be efficient at the end. Oh you have to be professional too. You know even with my friends I don't like treat them as friends when we're working. I treat them as my client. Correct. Yeah and I also don't want anybody or any one in the room to feel that there's another star in the room. Uh, because I don't want them to feel that an bato is she working or is she mm-hmm. like true, true. here trying to I'll do whoever, you know? Yeah. Like, para lumugar ka. Like, you have to learn the new rules. Yeah. So, that's it for our style Q&A with Mrs. Gui. Thank you so much Thank for you. all the wisdom. And now, we are so much more fashionable and stylish. And so, if you guys have any more questions, clarifications, suggestions, or, I don't know, violent reactions, please, um, Ayun natin ang mag-violent, 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 mag-viol